Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and you are listening to Subhash Chandran. In this video, we are going to discuss about the dimensional standards for flanges and valves. And this is going to be part 2 actually. I have also released part 1 where I have uh, discussed about pipe fittings actually. So those who have not watched the part 1, I kindly request you to watch the part 1 so that you will get the continuation. Now let's get started without wasting time. And before going to the video, if you are not subscribed to my channel, kindly request you to please give me a subscription to motivate me. It also motivates me and it gives me an excitement to make more and more videos to teach you about the piping design. And I have a small announcement for you. I have already conveyed this in my previous videos, but still I would like to convey it for the new viewers. Recently, I have created a new YouTube channel with an intent to create videos that are helpful for career making. And recently I have posted a video where I have listed some X factors that are helpful for a better career growth. So I would request you to watch this video so that it will help you for your professional career. Now let's get into our topic. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the very important components which is flanges. In flanges, we are going to cover the four important areas actually and uh, which is going to be the flanges which are less than 24 inch and the flanges which are above 24 inch and spectacle blinds and orifice flange. In addition to flanges, we are also going to see the dimension standards for valves actually. So let's get started. The first I would like to bring it over here is the standard flanges. The standard flanges what we are referring is actually the dimensions are given in ASME B16.5 flanges and the description of this uh, standard is flanges and flanger fittings up to 24 inch. I'll show you the, the name uh, from the standard. This is how the title looks like pipe flanges and flanger fittings NPS from half an inch through NPS 24 inch. So this is available both in metric and in standard actually. So the name of the standard is ASME B16.5. This is one of the very important standard that every piping design engineer should know about it. So this is how it looks. If you open up the standard and you will be able to see the entire dimensions of all the types of flanges. The all uh, different types of flanges are also addressed over here. Right from threaded flanges and slip on, well neck and blinds and you will get all the end to, end to end dimensions of each and every parameters of the flanges actually. So this is about the flange and now let's go to the second part of uh, the second flanges which is the large diameter flanges. So it is um, uh, categorically this was uh, classified distinguished into two types of flanges. One is uh, the flanges which are less than 24 inch and the other one is the flanges which are about 24 inch because the dimension is completely different. So that's one of the reason why two different standards are made. So the, the large diameter flanges the dimensional uh, standard is ASME B16.47. This is how the description uh, looks like large diameter flanges for 24 to 60 inch. Uh, the only the constraint is that this is only up to 60 inch actually. It's not about 60 inch. So you, the most of the flanges are within this range. So uh, generally the most of the process piping flanges are within the 60 inch uh, sizes. So this is how the title looks like. This is the title from the standard. ASME B16.47 large diameter and steel flanges NPS 26. Uh, I mean uh, uh, since it is below 26, 20, uh, since it is below 24, 24 is not considered. So when we say below 24, 24 is not at all considered. It starts from 26 to uh, 60. But the previous standard that we have discussed 16.5, 16, 16 it starts from half an inch to 24 inches. So 24 inches is already covered in the previous standard. And this is how the standard looks like and it gives you all the dimension. You can see the sizes over here. The sizes starts from 26 actually. It gives uh, like uh, the in 16.5 and you will get all the end to end dimensions of uh, the complete flanges right from bowl hole dia and uh, face to face dimensions and the thickness of the flange. You will be able to get, take all the uh, dimensions. You just have to give some time to understand um, the, the parameters that are given over here. Just go through this picture and study the uh, parameters uh, one by one one take your own time so that you will get uh, uh, familiar about this uh, structures actually this is one of the again one of uh, the very important standard that every piping design engineer should know and the third one is spectacle blind as I don't have to tell you about this spectacle blind is again one of the very essential component that we most commonly use in uh, process piping and the standard is 16.48 but the technical name that is referred in the standard is line blanks. It is not referred as a spectacle blind. Spectacle blinds are generally referred just because this is the market name actually, trademark name. So the trademark names are spectacle blind. 
but technically this is known as line blinds because uh, there are various different types of uh, uh, the spectacle blinds are also covered in this particular topic that's one of the reason why it was referred as line blinds if you open up the standard you will be able to see that so this is how the title looks like asme b16.48 line blanks actually so uh, this is the um, uh, standard the table that shows the end to end dimension and uh, this also has uh, the sizes for various sizes and uh, just open up the standard to see how um, uh, good it is and so that you will get all the dimensions you will first of all you just need to get a uh, familiarize about uh, the parameters and the structure of the standard you will get all the dimensions right from the od and uh, yeah, the thickness and end to end every details every inch of informations you will be able to take it from this standard actually find the next flanges what we have over here is orifice flange orifice flanges are considered to be a special type of flanges which are generally used only where uh, the process parameters has to be measured from the piping so basically these are used for taking some samples uh, to uh, which can direct to the instruments and where the instruments will read the properties of this fluids actually so the standard name is asme b16.36 for orifice flange this is how it looks like asme b16.36 uh, for orifice flange i'll show you how orifice flange looks like and this is how the orifice flange looks like so you remember the thickness of the orifice flange are always higher than the standard flanges that's because uh, there will be some ports over here from the, through this ports uh, tubings are taken to instruments uh, to measure the properties of the fluid such as the flow parameters temperature pressures actually so these are considered to be a critical flanges because the thickness is very high so the weight of the flanges are also very very high and it, these uh, items are very delicate the the opening uh, of the port is very very uh, small so that uh, these are considered to be delicate items actually so this is how it looks like I, as again uh, i would like to tell you that you will get all the uh, informations regarding this flanges if you just go through this uh, standards actually when you are uh, studying the sanjas the first thing that you have to uh, do is that you have to give a time give more time and try to understand each and every parameter let's take x let's let's take a b1 so just uh, familiarize about it so that you will come to know what is the primary information that you have to collect it actually and the last but not the least what we have over here is valves valves i don't have to tell you valves are one of the primary components that we essentially have to use in piping design so it is really important to understand from where you will be able to take the dimensions of different types of valves so this is a standard b16.10 it gives you the face to face dimension of the valves so it gives you the dimensions for all type of valves so i'll just show you how this title looks like and this is uh, asme b16.1 title uh, the description says face to face and end to end dimension see uh, just observe it how exactly it was given actually end to end dimension means the face end to end dimensions actually now i'll show you how it looks like so this is what uh, the the table looks like if you open up the standard you will be able to get the dimensions for the plain face raised face and butt welding it gives for all other different types of valves also if you just open it and you will be able to see over here uh, you can see a gate valve and uh, you can see a short part and you will, you will be able to see a plug valves glow valves check valves and um, you can also see the the flanges of different types and uh, see generally this is uh, this involves most of the uh, valves actually so as i told you that you just uh, open up the standards and be just familiarize about the parameters so initially it will be little hard to understand what and where actually but once you get uh, once you get familiarized so probably you will be able to pick the right details very uh, quickly so these are the very important standards that every piping design engineer should know most of the piping institutes don't teach all of this but i can't say that all the institutes there are some good institutes that they teach actually but uh, it is a primary uh, i mean it is a personal responsibility for uh, all the piping designers to know uh, the standards that we have to use in daily basis actually though you are not taught from institutes and you have to check with your peers and you have to check with your seniors so i will also try to uh, give you all the informations that whichever possible uh, that i can actually so this will help you to improve your efficiency efficiency in terms of working in terms of understanding what you are actually doing actually so if you like this video please don't uh, forget to give me a like because this is how the video uh, gets promoted
and also don't forget to share because again once again if you share uh, to one person this will increase my views and now once again i'll be able to get more promotion so that actually motivates me to more to make more and more videos so once again thank you very much for watching my videos and also kindly request you to give me a subscription if you are a new viewers and new some uh, viewer to my channel so that it um, adds me more value to my work actually so thank you so much i'll meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandran